The Lord explains, Offenses must come, but they shall come by my word alone. Trumpet Call of God July 4, 2010, from Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy, for a brother in Christ, and for all those who have ears to hear. My son, I've called you to trumpet, to proclaim the truth, the truth which proceeds from my own mouth, to be that example which also speaks to the truth of who I am, testifying by action according to the Spirit and the Word of Truth, displaying fruit in the Beloved. Yet by cleverness of words and witty speeches you have caused offenses, which are void of my word as it is. For offenses shall indeed come, indeed it must be so. Let them come, let any offense brought forth from among those whose hearts have turned against me, knowing neither me nor my Father, shall only come by the reading of my word or by hearing it through the mouth of my witnesses. It shall not come by the words of my servants, but by the masters alone. My son, indeed I have called you out to blow this trumpet, even as one who shall lead my little flock in their edification, by the reading of my word, even as I had commanded you that you first listen, then teach, also discerning the needs of this flock, catering to those slow to understanding, keeping all things in order while at my table. Yet not by a firm word shall you do this, but by a soft word of correction shall you keep my flock in order so I may feed them, for a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger, as it is written, the end of which is heard. And this is the food by which they shall be fed, my word and my word only. Lest you be exalted for that which I have not written, rather rebuke all praise added to your account, and let your heart be warmed by another's gratitude toward your obedience, having a clear conscience concerning your service, where you have sought to bring glory to my name, by that which has glory in itself, supplemented by the wisdom given you, which flows from my spirit, causing you to understand, also bringing into remembrance all I have taught you. Therefore, my son, in whom I am well pleased, heed my correction, so you may grow wiser still, bringing forth even more fruit in the Beloved. The seeds of which I have planted through you, sown in the hearts of my little flock, who seek to be cultivated in the good ground. Anyone who represents me by way of this trumpet must display those things which I require, according to the purpose in which they are called. Therefore do not cause offense among the dull of hearing, by clever words, or cast down the blind, by words of your own making. I am the Word and by my word alone shall the sleepers be awakened, and by my word alone shall the offended be warned. Even some shall be brought forward, 
because of this, and they shall blaspheme my words. The hidden intents of the heart revealed by the tongues of the foolish. For this is my will according to the division which must be made. My ways are not human ways. My servants shall cause no offense at all, save that which comes by the trumpeting of my word. And those who come forward who are offended in me because of my words, take nothing they say to yourself, lest you also disavow the promises which must be met, for which you are also called. Feed all my sheep and warn them from me, for the time is fully come. My bride is chosen, for she is wise. But the foolish shall be left standing outside the gate, shouting, because of the door which has been shut to them. And so it will remain, until the time be changed, and I cause them to come out from among them, high and lifted up. Therefore, have compassion on them, pray for them, for only by great travail shall they enter into my rest. And no more bring offense by your own words, but let it come forth because of mine only. For you are my representative on earth until I come, even one among many. You bear the name of the watchmen who stand on the hill outside the city, the first of many who shall be offered before the Father. Let no guile be found in your mouth, let only the songs of the Lamb roll from your lips, and let the great noise of this trumpet be blown by your hand to all within the reach of its sound. I am the Lord. Behold, I hasten to finish a great work in you, to my own glory, even the prophet's reward, a work which may only enter in by way of a contrite heart and a humble, broken spirit, one whose heart is fastened securely to the holy covenant, one whose shoulders are set and cannot be moved though the enemy approaches, one who trumpets the warning in the face of every adversity. And when one who claims to know me comes and asks you for more, feed them with the sound of my own voice. And to those who take offense, who also endeavor to cast down my words, serve them also though they will in no wise receive. Serve them by sounding the trumpet and warning, then turn away, quickly shaking off the dust and trusting them to my will, to the freeing of your conscience. For they fight not against you. I am the Lord.